Hello, welcome once again to Seven Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today is a pleasant Sunday smoke. I am outdoors for the first time in a very long time. I am smoking a Padron 2000 Natural, my favorite reasonably priced cigar. So, why am I outside? <clears throat> I'm outside because I can be outside. The weather has been absolutely ridiculous here lately, but we'll get to that a little bit later in the Sunday Smoke. First, I wanted to mention the biggest news, the most important thing to talk about in this episode of Sunday Smoke, is the fact that I have launched my new gameplay channel. In the past, actually since pretty much this channel started, I think, what was I talking about the other day? Someone was complaining about gameplay videos being posted on this channel, and I had mentioned that I think the very fifth or tenth, I can't remember, one of the earliest videos I ever posted was a gameplay video, and of the first 50 videos, 20 were non-pipe smoking, many of those gameplays. So I've been doing that for a long time. The channel's been around for three years now? Something like that. I think we're approaching three years. Um, so anyway, where was I going? That's, that was quite a digression. I had decided that to avoid confusion now and also to maybe get a few more views for the gameplay videos, that I was going to start a brand new channel devoted only to gameplay videos and video games in general. And it's not that I'm a huge gamer or anything, but I do like posting those videos occasionally. And I think it was kind of confusing for some people that if they were looking, let's say they found one of the gameplay videos, and then they look at the rest of the content of the channel and they might find it confusing. And then I also had people who were into the other things that are on the channel, pipe smoking, reviews, things like that, who were some, somehow sort of affronted by the fact that I would post gameplay videos. I didn't think it was that big a deal. I figured you could just watch what you did, what you did want to watch and don't watch what you don't. But to avoid confusion, I figured let's launch in a, in a channel devoted entirely to the gameplay videos. And that channel is called Stuff and Things Plays. Hey! So there you go. We have the new channel. It's called Stuff and Things Plays. It is live now. It has a whopping like 70 subscribers right now, I think. It is really <laughs> depressing to go back in time. You know, when I first started this channel and you're getting like, oh, we've got 100 subscribers and it was a big deal. Um, and it was a big deal and it still is a big deal that over 100 people have subscribed to this channel. Now we're into, I don't even know, 17,000 something. Um, but to go back in time when you're just starting out and just posting videos on a new channel or just starting to post videos on a new channel, it is interminable how long it takes that to sort of catch on. Because if people, it's a weird catch-22, it's a chicken or the egg kind of thing. If people aren't watching your videos, then they don't show up in searches, therefore no one will ever watch your videos but how do you get people to watch your videos so they'll show up in searches so that then more people will watch them? It's kind of a weird riddle that you have to untie, unknot. And uh, it's interesting because on this channel, you know, we're talking about, I post a pipe tobacco review and eventually it'll get in the tens of thousands of views, usually. Depending on the blend, it'll take a while. And that's relatively small compared to people who are actually popular on YouTube but it's something that as like a small independent channel, it's very gratifying to see that many people watching what you're doing. And then you get to interact with all the people, the comments, people letting you know if they appreciate it or don't appreciate it. So it, it sort of, uh, it keeps you honest when you're making content, or at least it keeps you, the, the constant feedback keeps you wanting to continue making content. And when you're first starting out with a new channel and nobody's watching, it makes it kind of like, why am I even bothering? Because, especially the gameplay videos, they actually take a little bit longer and a little more effort to make than some of the other videos. But I'm prepared to bite the bullet um, and just go with this channel, this new channel, Stuff and Things Plays. Be sure to check in the description box below. I will have a link to the Stuff and Things Plays channel. If you are into the gameplay videos, please subscribe because I need a little boost right now. It's going to take a long time. It's going to be a slow process to get those views building up and to get the subscribers building up. So having you guys check it out would definitely help. And if you don't think you're into gameplay videos, check it out anyway, because it's basically, it's me. I happen to be playing a video game, but if you like me, and I don't know why you would, but some of you seem to, 
um, you might like the channel. So check it out. Stuff and Things Plays. Link in the description box below. And also, from the posting of this video, it's Sunday, February... What is it? The 12th? I don't know. I don't even know. From the posting of this video, new gameplay videos will no longer be posting on the Stuff and Things channel. They will only be posting on the Stuff and Things Plays channel. Um, for the last week, I've been posting on both. I've been slowly starting to repost old series on the new Stuff and Things Plays channel. So I'm starting to do the Dark Souls 3 series. Um, I threw Mega Man 2 on there. And eventually I'm going to erase those videos from the Stuff and Things channel and they will only be on the Stuff and Things Plays channel. And then for the last week I've been posting my new series, Shovel Knight, on both Stuff and Things and Stuff and Things Plays. As of this weekend though, they will only be posting on Stuff and Things Plays. And again, it's going to be rough because hardly anyone's going to watch them on that channel because nobody knows about it yet. But that's where you guys come in. I appreciate so much you guys watching all my content. So if you go to this new channel, subscribe. Only do it if you actually want to see these videos, though. Um, subscribe, watch the videos, share the videos. That would really help me out. Thanks. All right, so I mentioned that I'm out here because I can be out here, and it's been a rarity lately to actually be able to go outside. I don't know if you guys have been noticing in the news or anything, or if it's even been reported on nationally, but the Pacific Northwest has been getting slammed lately, or we did get slammed. Ridiculous winter storm. So last weekend, I guess Saturday night into Sunday morning, we got a crazy ice storm followed by a massive snowstorm. And then it continued throughout the week. I think Wednesday was the last day that it actually snowed, and then it started warming up Thursday and Friday. But there are parts of the county in Whatcom County. I live in Bellingham, the city of Bellingham in Whatcom County. Um, Bellingham itself didn't get a ton of snow. It got enough, and it was very variable depending on where you were in the city. But, you know, some places got seven, eight, nine inches. Some people only got five or six inches. But there are other places in the county that had over two feet of snow. And so because we had the ice storm first, we had the sheet of ice over everything. It was cutting off power to a lot of people. We had branches breaking. Then came a huge windstorm slash snowstorm. So the trees were already weighted down with ice. The wind knocked them over. The snow came over top of the ice. People were just crashing everywhere. It was bedlam, pandemonium. Um, and then there was just so much snow throughout the county. This has been the coldest, wettest winter I can remember for a very, very long time, at least here in the Pacific Northwest. So it was just ridiculous. I have some footage of me, <clears throat> I was trying to record some footage of me walking around downtown when it was snowing. Um, not that there's anything that exciting about that, especially for people who live you know, in the upper Midwest or something where it snows all the time, but just to give you an idea of what it was like, what the weather was like around here. Of course, the audio was all screwed up, so you might not be able to hear me. You'll just see my mouth flapping away, but I'll maybe roll some of that in. supposed to melt Walker Creek right near downtown Bellingham kind of beautiful that there's a nice little creek like that right now a raging torrent this time of year right in the middle of downtown my ears are cold and by the way this is what sidewalks are like in Bellingham Washington when it snows just hard packed ice. Nobody clears their sidewalks, or very few people do. So it's basically just a sheet of ice. 
Luckily, my Adidas GSG9s are up to the task. I've only almost fallen a couple times today. I actually have yak tracks if it gets really dicey. You can strap those to your shoes. They're basically like snow chains for your shoes. But yeah, it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is the Pacific Northwest. It's supposed to be mild here. But every once in a while, every... I don't know, I'll say every 10 years or so, it seems like we have a crazy cold, wet winter where we get a lot of snow. And this was definitely one of them. But I think that was winter's last gaps, gasp. At least, I kind of hope it is. I don't mind winter, I don't mind cold weather. But I think I'm kind of looking forward to some, some sun, a little bit warmer temperatures. The funny thing is today it's like 47, where it was in the 20s, the beginning of the week. And I think next week it's supposed to be 50 for the rest of the week. So. I think that's it. I think winter's over here. We'll see. But then we go into the long spring period where it just rains every single day, which I'm fine with. I'm totally cool with that because our summers are absolutely beautiful. Just looking in my book. I have other things to talk about, but I think I'm going to try to cut this video off now. I want to finish my cigar and uh, just enjoy the fact that I am outside instead of huddled inside in a blanket. Um, there are some videos coming up this week. Now remember, no more gameplay videos on this main Stuff and Things channel. They will all now be posting on the Stuff and Things Plays channel. So look forward on the Stuff and Things Plays channel. There will be new episodes in the Shovel Knight series posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then there will also be interspersed with those new episodes. I'm going to be reposting some of the Dark Souls 3 videos. I might get into the series I did on Inside. Basically, the back catalog of Stuff and Things Plays videos will be made available on the new channel along with new videos. And on this channel, I have a review of some interesting pipe accessories that were sent to me. Um, very cool, um, high-quality leather pipe accessories that I'll be showing you and uh, just more of everything. We got more stuff coming up. I have more tobaccos I need to review. So stay tuned for that. Please check out the Stuff and Things Plays channel if you would. Again, the link in the description below. But until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend, Billy. You've been on a pleasant Sunday smoke. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.